ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony will begin shortly. Please switch off your handphones or put them on silent mode if you haven't done so. We have arranged for official photographers to take photos of all graduates receiving their diplomas. There is no need to come to the front to take photographs during the ceremony. If you wish to take additional photos, you may do so after the ceremony at the plaza. I will be inviting you to stand when the academic procession enters and leaves the convention hall. Graduates, please ensure that you have your admission ticket and your identity card with you before joining the queue to receive the scroll box on stage. You will be issued with a card lock-on ID and password as you leave the stage. Please keep the card as you will need it to place your order for photos. Lastly, graduates, graduation is a formal occasion. Please show respect for our guests and fellow graduates in your behaviour. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Our guest speaker, Mr. Kenneth Cole, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the 57th graduation ceremony of the Singapore Polytechnic. At this seventh session, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to graduates from the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. May I now invite our Principal and Chief Executive Officer, 
Mr. So Wai Wa to deliver the graduation address. Mr. So, please. Mr. Kenneth Ko, the Chief Executive Officer of Tech Source System, distinguished guests, parents, colleagues, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. A good, very good morning. Welcome to our 57th graduation ceremony. This year, we see our 57th batch of students graduating from Singapore's first polytechnic. I congratulate all 5,577 graduates from this, from the diploma, post-diploma and WSQ courses on your achievements. And in particular, the 301 of you gathered here today receiving your certificates. This must be a proud moment for you and for your family. This is indeed a big milestone in your life. Over the last few years, you have learned hard, worked hard, played hard. The things that you had learned, the friendships you have forged, the trials and triumphs that have helped you to grow. I hope all this will form an indelible part of your memory. And in years to come, I hope that they will be sources of joy and of strength. As you graduate and leave SP, please do not for a moment think that your learning journey has come to an end. Whether you're moving on to university or straight to the workplace or elsewhere, you should continue to learn. You should continue to deepen your skills and hone your craft. You should build on what you have learned here in SP to develop yourself further. Learning does not stop when someone leaves school and starts work. You need to see yourself as a lifelong learner, always learning and relearning until the day you retire and even beyond that. To help you in your journey of lifelong learning, SP has also transformed ourselves to be a poly for all ages, not just teenagers. We have always had adults in our classrooms. However, going forward, we'll be more intentional in helping adults learn. We will have more training programs for working adults with a syllabi more tailored to the workplace and delivered in a manner more accessible for working people. In other words, as you commence your working life, whether in this year or in a few years to come, SP will continue to provide you the learning resources that you need. We will continue to support you in your continuous learning journey. We want to be your lifelong partner in learning. We want to see you here again on campus as an adult student. So in closing, once again, graduates, congratulations, goodbye, and see you again. Thank you, Mr. So. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker this morning is Ms. Mr. Kenneth Koh, CEO of TechSource Systems Private Limited. Mr. Koh is a co-founder of TechSource Systems Private Limited, with the foresight that the world would be focusing more on technology. Mr. Koh brought in a computation and simulation tool, MATLAB and Simulink, in 1996. It provides supreme computing capabilities to many educational and research institutes and Fortune 500 companies in Southeast Asia to solve their complex engineering problems. Under Mr. Koh's stewardship, the company has established strong connections, particularly with the educational institutions where engineering universities in ASEAN are using MATLAB as a teaching tool. More than 2.6 million 
LinkedIn professionals mention MATLAB as one of the core skills required for many occupations. TechSource Systems Private Limited received the Singapore's Outstanding Enterprise Award in 2013. Mr. Ko is a strong believer in empowering the young generation and is an active alumni member in Singapore Polytechnic. He frequently supports and shares his enthusiasm about entrepreneurship with students. It is now my pleasure to invite Mr. Kenneth Ko to deliver the graduation address. Mr. Ko, please. Members of the Board of Governor, Principal, and CEO of Singapore Poly, Mr. So Wai Wa, distinguished guests, parents, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's my pleasure to join you this morning in the graduation ceremony. My congratulations to all the graduates, as well as the lecturers and the management of Singapore Poly on this special occasion. I was once like you in the hall waiting anxiously to get out of this day and call it a day, looking forward to enter a new journey of your life. I was told to make a relevant, inspiring speech to the graduates from the Diploma in Computer Engineering, Clean Energy, Energy Systems and Management, Engineering Systems, Info Communications, Engineering and Design. I struggled to find an intersection in the set theory, defining it as a maths problem. It was very difficult for me, as I did not perform well in my maths during my poly days. Nevertheless, I will do my best to find a sweet spot for each of you. Singapore Poly was my first and my last tertiary education place, which makes me more appropriate to tell you what's after you graduate. In 1988, my lecturer, Mrs. Im, from the School of Engineering, during the last lecture says, your diploma will be obsolete in five years. Just like this digital watch I'm wearing. Reality sets a while looking at my results, but there was only one statement from me, no looking back. For some reasons, she had the foresight of our government pitch about the lifelong learning concept of skill future. It was a wake-up call for me as a statement, keep on me going, accepting the facts of a technology revolutions. More important, reminds me of the full harness as an engineer, build my lifetime value. It doesn't matter where you are going, Singapore Poly not just provides you academically, but it lays a lifetime engineering foundation for you. For those who have decided to further studies, I wish you all the best in your next phase of studies. I look at the career in the form of cocktails, of working hours, family commitment, and social expectations. It's going to be the most important part of your life. In the more recent talk, many likes to refer to Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, as inspirations to the students during the graduation. However, I'd rather not, because they never make it through the graduations. Instead, I decided to look far into the history to get more holistic view of the engineering successes that many of you may already be familiar during your study days. I've decided to craft my speech with the hints of mathematical terms in an abstract form to let your imagination run. Life is like a matrix. Today, I hope to cover it like a three by three matrix due to my time constraint. But your life is far more than the three by three. It should contain more length and breadth of your passion and the hard work, the journey in your future. Talking about passion, the word emphasized in many inspiration talk, but many of you may not realize the passion is from the word party, which means suffer. There are many talks about waiting for the big bang in your life and running towards like no tomorrow, but I would rather think Otherwise, 
in my opinion, life is more like a tailor series, a summation of major and minor components. We should resist into settling on a rigid career and instead try various and patiently wait for one that takes off. After I left Poly, I worked as a test engineer. It was then that I started to appreciate a subject that I dislike most, it's called history. Subject history is about memorizing facts, but I do suggest the management of the Poly considered blending history to teaching of engineers for a deeper appreciation of the subjects. And in fact, the polytechnics came from the Greek words polytechnos, which means skill of many arts. Not looking far back as a student, I studied about Nyquist's rate. Harry Nyquist was made popular by engineer Shannon, which is also known as the father of information theory. Without them, they would not be able to design handheld designs that are small enough to sample just enough, so which you learn in the diploma in info communications, engineering and design. And in fact, Nicholas Wolf, the inventor of Pascal language, back then I was taught by Mr. Rob, Rodney Dovill. His famous quote was, software is getting slower more rapidly than hardware become faster. Indeed, it was more important for the graduates from the diploma in computer engineering. Because if the question is asked, hardware consume power, why? Because software tell it to. Do you realize that for each iOS update, the phone lasts longer? And that's because the software gets more efficient. So I do encourage the graduates to design and write more codes that are more efficient to save the earth. In nature, there are no landfill. Billions of years in a linear economy, we learn to take, make, and dispose, making the earth the largest landfill in the universe. Graduates from the diploma in engineering for clean energy and energy systems management would have a brilliant career awaiting for them to participate in this circular economy, which keeps resources in use for as long as possible to extract the maximum value of them while in use and recover and regenerate the products and materials. The game changer should be how to waste, build capital, then focus on reducing waste. Many famous engineers lead a colorful and vibrant life besides being an engineer. Therefore, it is not boring being an engineer because engineers are cool. Thomas Clare, a philosopher once said, Man is a tools using animal. Without tools, he's nothing. With tools, he's almighty. This is true until 16th century. Workhorse was the only means to get more outputs besides human power. This is how we get electrical terms called horsepower. At the turn of the 16th century, it's also known as Industry 1.0. In part of the proposal for the future economy, Industry 4.0 was identified as a key changer to the current slow economies we experience. So graduates be part of the future, driving factors, and aim to write history for the world of engineering, especially for Singapore. In the new era, simulations, optimizations, machine learning, AIs, multidisciplinary engineering is going to be a new growth. So don't be a regular engineer. Be a T engineer, the engineer that has both breath and depth. Digital economy is here to stay. AI replaced a third of graduate's job. Evidence robots is winning the humans. Robots takes over 10 million jobs in Britain in 15 years. These are the headlines we saw. Does it mean that we are out of job after we graduate? No. It just means you have graduated on time for a new range of jobs. We should not fear smart thinking machines, as this will free us for focus on performing even better. So we should not stop thinking negatively about disruptive technologies. We should learn to embrace them instead, see as a competition. We should reframe the threats of automation as an opportunity for augmentations. Embracing digital economy is about replacing jobs, but enable people to do things in the past we can't. If 57 graduation year is not an easy year to remember, 
then I would like to remind everybody that this year is 60th anniversary for SP School of Triple E. There are so many Singapore poly graduates that have made us proud. One of them is Mr. Bill Chang, CEO of Group Enterprise of Singtel, the largest telecom business in Singapore and the essential part of our nation building. The year 2017 is also ASEAN 50 years anniversary. It strongly encourage all graduates to look beyond Singapore to explore their career. Building a career and enterprise are not easy, but rewarding. If you have not learned any third language, I would suggest that you pick up an ASEAN language, and in fact, it will be sustainable when expanding to ASEAN. Lastly, to achieve wealth in life is not always about dollar and cents. Sometimes it's about challenging your own boundary. However, do take care of your family and social implication. I'd like to conclude my speech with an inspiration quote from our current Minister of Labour, Mr. Lim Suise, who graduates in the field of system engineering. During a dinner conversation, I asked him how it feels like a, to be a politician but not able to practice engineering. He looked at me in dismay and replied, you are wrong. I'm still doing engineering. It's social engineering. Hence, for those graduates from Diploma in Engineering System, maybe you can consider to become a politician. I hope I have not left any graduates untouched today in my speech. To Mr. So, the principal and CEO of Singapore Poly, who previously is also from SP, Singapore Police, I believe that he will bring Singapore Poly graduates to the next level. Engineering is not just about technical. Engineering about engineering or social responsibility. To end my speech, I would like to share something close to my heart with three takes away. Your diploma will be obsolete in five years. Re-engineer the topics of mathematics and engineering subjects to apply to your career and life like what I have did in my speech. And lastly, I'd like to thank the special lecturers, Mr. Ho Wichi, who have taught me back then to be more socially responsible alumni. Keeps me thinking of why do I want to contribute back to SP? Because Singapore Poly has contributed to my and your success. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Koh. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the presentation of diplomas to the graduates. This morning, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to 301 graduates from the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. May I now call upon the Director of the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Mr. Lo Yu Chong, to present the diplomas. Mr. Lo, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Clean Energy. Glendon Lim Hong Yong. <laughs> Ko Chen Yuan Clifton. <laughs> Lim Kwan Han Brian. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Computer Engineering. Aaron Chia Boon Chen. Ng Chun Kai. Ng Tung Kiet. Mm, 
为想。谭家义 ，Bernis。谭伟雄。Ing Akri So Tim。Al Amarul Ilham bin Abu Bakar。Amos Chuan, Armancha Rizmaulidin, Azahari bin Muhammad Sapi'i, Bei Chun Han. Eldrick Ongwei Jie, Bo Tuang Han Jairus, Casper Chia Zi Xiong, Chan Jia Yi. Chan Ting Feng, Chang Wei Ling, Veronica, Chia Ao Yu, Damian, Chiu Yu Heng. Cho Chung Leong, Chong Wei Nian, Chua Ernest, Benjamin Cheng Yu Pu. Dennis Chua Chun Hong, Dion Neo Hu Hung, Dylan Wu Chun Hao, Elma Lim Chun Hong. Eric Tan Wei Jin, Ernest Lo Jun Hui, Eugene So Wei Jie, Farah Binti Kusin. Francisco Camille Santiago, Gan Zhi Xian, Gaetano Kayla Victoria Sabogdala, Go Chen Ning. Go Ying Chen Aloysius, Guo Ying Nitaya, Hafiz bin Asim, He Xiu Yi. Iskandar Akif bin Idris,
जय शाम सुनीसा जहेर हुसैन मोहम्मद रिजवानुरी जेसन छियावे के जेवियर सो चाल जेरमी ली कैन कैट जेरमीन क्वेक जेमिंग Joel Ng Johnson Man Long Sheng Joseph Pang Ban Tik K V Mitun Kan Chan Kenneth Chia Yun Long Kim Han Na Ko Won Chang Devonshire Latifa Mariam Binti Adimai Lee Ilin Lee Hon Han Leonard Lee Shue Lam Lee Jen Yong Li Jingmin Li Singyi Li Su Bin Li Zheng Chen Liu Bo Run Li Le Fan Cyrus Lim Ting Wang Ivan Lim Long Sien Lim Kwan Kun Nicholas Lim Moon Hui Lim Sin Rong Lin Lin Wen Sin Liu Chi Yang Ryan Lu Jun Hao, Jason Mark Ying Hao, Melvin Marcus Lo Ka Hing Marcus Teo Wei Lung Muhammad Abidur Rahman Monico O Labrado Muhammad Farhan bin Muhammad Haryadi Muhammad Aisha Mudin bin Amri
Muhammad Faris bin Isa. Muhammad Hashir bin Abdul Malik. Muhammad Juhairi bin Jasmani. Muhammad Khairil bin Azman. Muhammad Taufik bin Yusni. Muhammad Zulfadli bin Abdul Rasid. Chua Yusien. Neo Zi Wei. Ng Pin Xiang. Nicholas Chong Kwang Yong. Noratika Binti Manso. Nur Masturina Binti Maswanto. Nurul Asfilza Binti Zahid. Nurul Atika binti Muhammad Amin. O Jun Jie. Olimpo Ashrael Manoa Sarmiento. Ong Kwazel Danasta Gonzalez. Ong Yi Ning. Ao Yong Jero. Pek Jun Yu Jarvis. Pang Shi Jing. Hua Yi Jun Shero Pian Pian Ning Rachel Go Zi Hui Raja Swaminathan Rashida Farhad Alibuddin. Ryan Michael Gore Chang. S. Sri Kalki. Samuel Ng Shan Feng. Sol Dong Hyuk Sherman Mark Joseph Shue E Hao Siti Sahirin Binte Shafi'i So Boon Sing Steve Kwek Kya Soon Tan Jia Yong Ivan Tan Kin Wa Tan Lok San Tan Wei En Tan Wei Lin
Tan Zi Yen, Demetrius. Tan Zi Yong, Nicholas. Tang Wei Liang, Russell. K. Eng Kun. K. Kai Ming. Teng Hong Wei. Tessa Fu Si Hui. Tan Yi Kang. To Chin Hao. Tony Ho Man Tung. Willie Teo Wei Yang. Wu Fei. Yaman Bahadur Mala. Yang Chong Jin. Yo Kui Kiet. Yo Pei Wen. Yo Zan Ting. Yo Zi Ting Nicole. Yong Yu Fang Zulfadli bin Johari Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Energy Systems and Management Chong Mei Ling, Cindy Lim Jun Ming Zai Xiang Yu Alfred Lo Jun Liang Elvin Yip An Wen Ang Li Yi and Priscilla Lam Wai Si Ah Wen Wei Benedict Ng Keng Chuan Bernadette Tan Pei Yi Chi Widi Chen Kai Lun Kelvin Ching Chi Yong Chong Kai Jin Chua Wei Bin, Randall Chua Yu Lin Chua Yu Lin Daryl Tan Yen Ming Derek Chua Chin Kiet
Eugene Ao Jia Jie. Feng Chunhua Brandon. Gabriel Sim Jun Kit. Gao Ming Xue. Ho En Hao Brian. Jeremy Tan Shen Wei. Joseph Kong Zi Long. Josephine Lo Pei Yi. Kang Yi Ling. Ko Jun Chi, Andre. Lin Sin Yi, Werner. Lo Bun Kit. Lo Kai Wen. Le Jia Yi, Amanda. Matthew Ng Tiong Ming. Mazindra bin Mazlan. Muhammad Amiruddin bin Abdullah. Muhammad Nizam bin Jumari. Muhammad Shafiq Irfan bin Sud Trisno. Nathaniel Lim Chen Yi. Niu Yi Jing. No Ridwan bin Romzi. Nuzul Hakimi bin Rosli. Ui Wei Ming. Peng Yap Kai Rei. Chuan Ya Jing. Rickson Lim Jie Sheng. Ryan Ro Wei Wen. Sang Tian. So Yu Sheng, Melvin. Sumin John Samu. Tan Ren Hao. Tan Theodore. Tan Si Hua. Tan Wei Li. Tan Sing Han, Kevin. Pei Pang Hing. Teo Shik Chin. Takif Naufal Bin Sazli. Vincent Sir Jian Kun. Xavier Po Ting Han. Yi Wei Jin.
曾先儿 ，Chloe。Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Engineering System. Tay Kaiser. Abdul Hadi bin Abdul Samad. Andy Ko Eng Yu. Benjamin Tang Zhi Qian, Darren Ao Xian Yong, Gan Wei Wen, Joshua Wong Yong Wan. Ko Wei Kip, Liu Qian Sun, Muhammad Nizam bin Kamarudin, Narish Baskaran. Ki Fong, Nur Amalina binti Azman, Shannon Yeo Jun Wei, Siti Nabila binti Jasmani. Tan Jingzhe, Christopher. Tang Zhi Chen. Wang Ye Jun. Wang Zhi Jian, Gerald. Yo Chao An, ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the diploma in Info Communication Engineering and Design. Ma Shi Yi, Max. Nepali Sravya. Vignesh Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the list of graduates from the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Thank you, Mr. Lo. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present the prizes to our graduates for their excellent academic performance. May I invite Mr. Kenneth Koh, CEO of TechSource Systems Private Limited, to present the following prizes. Mr. Koh, please. From the Diploma in Computer Engineering course, receiving the Sandmina SCI Systems Prizes are Ernest Yap Chong Han, <laughs> Jovin Li Zhao Yuan. Melvin Lee Yu Jie, <laughs> 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 
Receiving the Cisco Systems Prizes are T. Kok Siang, <laughs> Wayne Go Yun Bo, the Mets Technologies Prize, Jiang Si. Receiving the ST Kinetics Prize is Andrew Tan Kai Hao. From the Diploma in Energy Systems and Management course, the SP Group Prize, Mohammad Sabir Bin Ibrahim. The Squire Mac Prize, Salman bin Taha Aljunit. <laughs> that concludes the presentation of prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present course medals to our top graduates for their outstanding all round performance. From the Diploma in Computer Engineering course, the Red Hat Silver Medal is awarded to Ariel Light Sen Chong Ming, the following graduate will be awarded the Lee Kuan Yew Award in the 12th session of the graduation ceremony today. The Cisco Systems Gold Medal, the OCBC Prize, and the Institution of Engineers Gold Medal Award are awarded to Benedict Lee Wei Zheng. From the Diploma in Energy Systems and Management course, the PCS Silver Medal is awarded to Amanda Zaza Abon. The SP Group Medal, sorry, the SP Group Gold Medal and the Institution of Engineers Gold Medal Award are awarded to Joanna Lam Jia Min. From the Diploma in Engineering Systems course, the SMRT Silver Medal is awarded to Tan Sing Ying. The SMRT Gold Medal and the Institution of Engineers Gold Medal Award are presented to Novan Lee. That concludes the presentation of course medals. Thank you, Mr. Koh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, giving the valedictory speech this morning is Li Wei Zheng Benedict a graduate of the Diploma course in Computer Engineering. May I now call upon Benedict to deliver the farewell address on behalf of the new graduates. Benedict, please. A very good morning to our guest speaker, Mr. Kenneth Cole. Principal and CEO, Mr. So Wai Wah, ladies and gentlemen. 
I am humbly honored to have this opportunity to represent my cohort. It's tough to summarize a three-year journey in just a few minutes. How time flies, doesn't it? It feels like just yesterday when we were all tapping our student cards to take attendance. And look how far we have come, armed today with our diplomas. In SP, we push the boundaries of our imagination in handling real-world problems, whether through our internships, CCAs, or group projects, especially final year projects. Our strengths nullified each other's weaknesses, and along the way, we built up great bonds of friendship and teamwork with one another. I myself came from a troubled family with financial difficulties. I once asked my father for a computer for my studies. He told me that we couldn't afford one and that I should instead scavenge the trash for spare parts. So I did, and a few blackouts, fires, and electrocutions later, I had a working PC. I'm sorry, Dad. Sure, it was problematic, but it served me well. Now, having grown this interest in SP and repaired many PCs from the trash, I donate them to the less fortunate and use them to contribute towards the World Community Grid, which aims to find potential cures for numerous pressing diseases. It's one of the ways that I continue to learn beyond the classroom, an attribute that SP has taught me. American author Robert Byrne once said, the purpose of life is a life of purpose. As we step out into the working world, I urge you to continue pursuing your passion with purpose in life. In spite of the cards life has dealt some of us, look at all the achievements you have accomplished. Let us also not forget the main reason why we are here. Our parents, lecturers, and friends, who are our constant pillars of support, never giving up on us. We have walked this far in life, but they were the stepping stones for our path to success. Many of the good values I hold tightly to were planted by my parents, reinforced by my lecturers who taught with great devotion, and finally, sealed by the bonds of friendship forged in SP. On behalf of the graduating cohort, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to these groups of people today. As a parting shot, let me share this piece of advice with you. Do not let circumstances define you, rather, Use your circumstances to define yourself. For just as electrical components are affixed to circuit board by the heat of the soldering iron, and I'm sure we're all too familiar with that, so are we strengthened by the heat of life in understanding, resilience, and character. With that, my heartiest congratulations to the Triple E graduates of 2017. Thank you. Thank you, Benedict. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony is now adjourned. May I invite all to stand. The procession groups will now leave the convention hall.
thank you for your patience. Please join us for the tea reception at the plaza outside the convention centre. May I invite parents and guests to leave the convention centre first. Please ensure that you have all your belongings. Have a pleasant day.